Hi everyone, I'll just give this a few minutes to kick in and we'll see how we go. I'm be ready for a kicker here. Just waiting for this to come online and let people know. Okay, so Indu rent fails again. Again. Oh, so remember Mahalia from WA, the young lady that's the only person in town that can't use her card? She couldn't buy food at the IGA, but she could buy alcohol. She couldn't buy uh, petrol to put in a friend's car at the service station because it doesn't take the car. She couldn't use the card at the post office and she most definitely couldn't get a meal at the pub. Well, she's back. She can't pay rent. And this is really, really annoying me, of course, because what is it? And I'm putting this out to Anne Ruston, all right, and the department, as you know, Services Australia. How is this good for women, pregnant women with children, when they can't pay them rent? How does it keep them safe, Anne? Why are you putting so many people at risk of homelessness? Why do you deny their access to opt out, claiming they're at risk of homelessness? And then you refuse to allow them access to pay their rent. Because that's what's happening today with Mahalia. And this hasn't been a new thing. This started not last fortnight, the fortnight before when your department promised to send her a rent certificate. Now, she's been on the phone all day to the Department Services Australia and she's run around and she's got the letter from her landlord as requested and it's all for nothing because now, oh no, you need the rent certificate, we'll send you another one. That's another seven to ten day wait. Meanwhile, you won't allow her to pay rent. What the bloody hell's going on here? So I'm going to read the one messages I got. All right? This is not good enough. And I'm screaming about it because WA's housing crisis is just as bad as across the country, but it is absolutely critical. We have a young single mum who is pregnant and this is just not good enough. This is just not good enough. What is it with making pregnant single mums homeless? Services Australia, you've got poor Tempest who is couch surfing who's about to go into hospital next week for a caesarean. You won't let her pay rent at her dad's. You won't let her pay rent at her mum's. You won't let her pay rent anywhere. So you've made her homeless. But then you knock her back on her opt-out because she's at risk of homelessness. But you made her homeless. Now you're going to do this with Mahalia? You know, this is disgusting. It's bad enough the fact that you wouldn't let her buy second-hand furniture when she did secure the house when she got there when she left the Bundaberg region or the Hinkler region, right? It's bad enough you've made that person suffer the whole time through with no access to normal cash to be able to do things <coughs> and not even be able to buy food at her local IGA. And from what we can work out, it's at least 50 kilometres to her nearest Centrelink to try and even sort anything out with no car. And you can't use the card on a bus. Go figure. This is, oh, I'm furious, as you can tell. All right? I am furious. You know, um, I am just so furious. This is not fair. This is, this is putting women and children at risk. Deliberately. You know? She said, some, she, she came to my inbox. Can you give me some info as to why they won't pay my rent at all? Even though she's gotten a letter from her landlord, they're saying she can, they can only make one housing, one-off request. Right? She's been, she was on the phone for more than an hour. Right? And the woman didn't want to do anything but say they'll send her another rent certificate that's going to take another seven or days to be actioned 
maybe. You know what I mean? They did this to her the fortnight before last. They said they were going to send the red certificate then and nothing happened, right? Now they're saying that a temporary housing limit can only be done once and they won't let me do a once-off payment. You know, after someone this morning told her that they could, right? So she chased down a letter from her landlord and that's not good enough either. Services Australia, what are you doing? This is just not good enough. You're not letting people pay rent. Where's the money, Indu? There's got to be a reason why you deny people what look in their account. Oh, shit, it's not there at the moment. We have to delay the person, delay the person until we can get the money in the bank account. Is that what the truth is? Right? I am furious about this. It's not good enough. But too many people are being made homeless. All right? So another lady who's in Victoria, do you want to know she was five metres from the electoral boundary? Five metres between her being put on the card and not being put on the card. She had affordable housing in a lovely high-set Queenslander with a private rental agreement with the owner. But oh no, Indu wouldn't let her pay her rent either. And that had a, a possibility of a job coming with that house, right? It was a matter of her getting skills up to be able to get a job out of that as well. But that was lost as well because she couldn't pay the rent. So she moved to Victoria where landlords don't know about the Indu card, where she can't be penalised and blocked from renting a property for being on the Indu card. But now she lives in a unit that costs her more money. Outside of a card region, that when there is problems with the card, people at Centrelink don't have a clue what it's about. You know, you push so many people out of housing. And these are single mums. Raising children. Where's the respect for women? Where's the safety aspect for the kids? So Services Australia, SA, it's not Services SA, this is Services Australia's, right, has advised complaints be lodged at this stage regarding all concerns. Rent concern issues can be addressed via services complaints. I know this doesn't immediately risk rectify the issue. Um, hang on. Hang on, I'm just reading this. It doesn't rectify the issue. It does log a major case of address in national integrity. Income management employees should be directed to contact the landlord on behalf of the tenants. Please ask income management to address the landlords. This system does not work and the Indu card, um, hang on, it doesn't work at all. You know what I mean? Um, this system does not work. The Indu card makes interest from taxpayers' money not being allocated or managed by the individual. Keep up the amazing exposure. Thank you. Um, so what can we do? Um, we make this as loud as possible, right? Senator Ann Rustin, get your act together, right? Stop making women and children homeless and this crap about it must be a fixed, signed, dated lease only. You have to understand that under law, Owners don't have to do that. They can have a private rental agreement. They can receive the money via direct debit di directly from that person's account to their account. They can receive it via cash or cheque. That is standard RTA laws across the country and has been time in, you know, immoral. This is just ludicrous that they're, not, they're blocking so many people from paying rent. You know, if the homeowner can't get their rental payments paid, they evict people to bring in a tenant that can pay the rent, right? And as a homeowner, how do they stay with their rates, power and gas if they're on the card? Well, most councils don't accept the cash just debit card for your water rates. I know that. Um, you can use Centipay, I understand, for your ordinary rates. I'm not sure, but not your water rates, right? So, 
this is just getting ridiculous. And as you can tell, I'm furious. So another uh -uh for Indu and Services Australia and trying to make another person homeless. And no doubt, remember, her update says that she was at risk of homelessness. Yeah, because you're going to bloody well make sure of it, aren't you? Right? You know, the same excuse used to stop um, Tempest from getting an opt-out. You're at risk of homelessness. Yes, you made her homeless. And then you knock her back for her exit because she's at risk of homelessness. You've done the job. She can't rent anywhere in WA with a private rental because landlords don't accept the Indu card or the basics card. And Homes West have, haven't got any vacancies. And there's a housing crisis, as if you haven't noticed, but you're ignoring that. You're cutting federal government's fuck cutting all the funding for the state's housing and then trying to play the blame game in Labor states, saying it's their fault for the housing crisis, right? When this government has set everybody up to fall over, cut JobKeeper, reduce JobSeeker, cash just debit cards, can't pay a periodic lease because this is what this lady was on, right? Can't pay direct to your landlord. It's ridiculous. All right? Other people do it to protect their privacy so that there isn't open public paper trails so that they can be protected from domestic violence situations. And the department is breaching that as well. You're putting women and children at risk and leaving them homeless. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. Night, guys.